The current administration has made the fight against corruption one of its cardinal objectives with some remarkable achievements and setbacks. This workshop offers the legislators an opportunity to evaluate some of the successes and challenges in supporting the work of anti-graft agencies to curb corruption in the last three years. With many complex security challenges and corrupt practices in place, Nigeria faces true hardships. Corruption impact on the effectiveness of security institutions is often detrimental and can threaten peace and breed instability. This has contributed to undermining morale and driving unethical behavior. Indeed, many studies have documented the negative effects of corruption on development, economic growth, and democracy. Corruption as a threat to security in Nigeria is in focus at this gathering. We need the law and order and behavior change approach. That's my first recommendation. Anybody that thinks that anti-corruption agencies alone can deal with this issue, why don't you prosecute? It won't work. I don't think anyone needs to be reminded about the consequences of corruption in our national life. It denies us of development. It denies us of a promising future. When National Assembly members carry out constituency projects, they do that from the statutorily you know, provided you know, funds. Nothing, nothing happens to defense you know, um, allocation in the process of doing that. by either flood floods or river floods. And this is likely as a result of a combination of natural and human factors. Often, it is the flash flood occasioned by every rain that displaces the most number of residents and farmers. Hundreds of hectares of field are underwater in Benue. In some areas, crops are completely submerged, while in others, they are partially submerged. This farmer told TVC News that he is at a loss as to what to do because more than two-thirds of his over 300 hectares rice farm located in Makadi local government is underwater. Well, it's so unfortunate. It's, so, it's just so pathetic. I don't even know where to start or even what to say. But this is the situation. Uh, all my rice is about to submerge. I've spent over 10 million naira. I've invested over 10, over 10 million naira. My millions, everything is just about to go away, to wash away just like that. Dozens of locals are depending on his farm for their daily bread. And with the present situation, all hope seems lost. At this juncture, I am calling on the government to come to my aid because all my investment is about to go in limbo. It's just too bad. And I'm calling on NGOs to come and assist me because right now I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to say. It's so bad. It's so bad. And this is my livelihood. This is what I live. This is what I feed my, my family. Other farmers like Kenneth Akbar calls for aid. Having lost tens of acres of rice due to the duelage, Ulo no ana no jin mi asine ge ulo ha jo mo da vin dam ge nega ba se hun go ap se hun go a ya se ba nega mi gele ngba nyo lonta na am he me ka ifi bi hin nya le ki le chin ka pane yo million security forces continue to decimate terrorists in a renewed offensive across the country in the last two weeks troops in the northeast have killed 36 insurgents of significance was the neutralization of two key Boko Haram terrorists and Islamic State of West African Province commander on the 12th and 19th September 2022, identified as Abu Siawa and Abu Abada at Parisu and Shiruru general area in Sambisa Forest, respectively. Consequently, Within the period under review, troops neutralized 36 terrorists, rescued 130 civilians, and arrested 64 suspected Boko Haram terrorists. In Kaduna, two persons were arrested in connection with terrorism financing. 
On 15 September 2022, troops arrested two suspected terrorist collaboration collaborators at Access Bank, PZ branch in Zaria local government area of Kaduna State, while trying to withdraw the sum of 14 million naira deposited in the account by Alaji Abubakar, a suspected terrorist financier. The federal government has stepped up efforts against terrorism financing in the country. Recently, the Department of State Services brought together experts to chart a new course against money laundering and terrorism financing. The arrest by the troops may just be the outcome of the renewed cooperation.